Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I would do some easy yoga to strengthen up your back. And that's gonna strengthen up your whole core. It's gonna make your tummy and your back more stable. It's gonna be better for, you know, giving piggyback rides to kids, for holding babies, for breastfeeding. It's gonna make everything feel a lot better when you strengthen up those back muscles. So let's start with our first pose. These are simple. Take a break when you need to. You know, don't ever do a pose that hurts, right? Adjust poses to make them comfortable for you. I don't want you to ever be like, oh, this really hurts, right? Just relax into the poses and do a version of them that is safe that you can do. Okay, we're gonna start with our first pose. Okay, I'm gonna show you the leg version of this. And then I'm going to turn around and show you also what I'm doing on the back because it's kind of a two-step pose. All right. So this is the crow face pose. And we are folding our legs over here, letting both of our feet touch the ground, moving our knees forwards a little bit, keeping our tuchuses on the mat, back straight, and then I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna show you what we're doing with our arms. So, we are gonna touch our arms like this, and you do whatever is easiest for you. I want your back to stay straight. Good job. And just let everything stretch out. All your muscles engaged. Let's switch arms. And this is going to work with this part of your back. It's going to help get everything feeling strong and healthy. Alrighty. Let's move it into a locust pose and work on our fabulous back. So put their cute button ready for the whole year. I'm gonna stretch out, lay on our mats on your tummy, arms out by your side, and then I want you engaging your back and your bottom to lift up, head up, and engage your muscles. Slide your arms forward, legs down. We're going to go into a puppy pose. And then we're going to move forward arms underneath our shoulders, shoulder width apart, right? So we aren't like this, we aren't like this, we're just like this. And we're gonna plank up, lean forwards, go over your hands. Isn't too bad right kind of fun kind of easy this is something you can do really quickly even on the rug in front of the TV while your kids watch a quick cartoon you can do this really quickly you know while you're heating up the shower water it's not a super long intensive workout right it's a couple minutes just to work on your back something you can do every day consistently and you'll be amazed after you know three weeks six weeks a couple months the differences you will see 
in your strength on your back, your muscle tone, and also the muscle tone in your core and how your body feels. Because when you've got a strong back muscular system, right, you, you're supporting all your body, right, with these back muscles. I'm not gonna get super technical into it, right, because like, we, we just wanna feel good in our bodies, right? Uh, but when we're working on that, these muscles really, they hold us up. They give us structural support and it's really valuable to work on them and give them a little bit of time. And I know how busy it is, peanut para, right? It is hard to be like, I'm gonna do an hour every day on this all the time. It's much easier and it's doable. It's something that you can add to your routine. It will become a part of everything you do every day. It's just a normal part of your day to do these little five minute quickie workouts, right? They're the simplest thing to do and they're completely achievable. And they'll you'll see that kind of as you get more fit and as you've been doing these for a couple months, suddenly you want to go to 10 minutes and 15 and you know, 45 minutes is the next thing you're gonna wanna do. And you work to it slowly, right? It doesn't have to be an all out burn where you burn yourself out, you don't wanna keep doing it, and you don't feel good about your body, right? Little quick things can make a huge difference to how your body feels, to how it looks, and to how you feel in your own skin, right? That's so important is that it doesn't matter our size or our body fat percentage or how big our muscles are. It matters how we feel in our skins that we feel comfortable and happy and at home in our own beautiful bodies as we go through and teach these other little wonderful mini human beings to love their bodies and to be kind and generous to their bodies and to the forms of everyone around them where we aren't judging, we aren't being mean because we have that little internal voice that's hating on ourselves so we just give that hate to everyone else around us. Instead, we're learning to love ourselves through little tiny exercises and your kids will see you do these. My son loves to join in and completely, you know, run havoc through any workout I'm trying to do, but he loves it. He loves being a part of it, and as he grows, it will be a normal part of his life, too, to just do little exercises, to stay fit, to stay happy, and to be healthy. So thank you so much for being a part of the Wholesome Feed on here, for enjoying these wonderful workout videos. I have loved uh, making these yoga and these workout videos and these HIIT workouts. Um, because I know that I've seen a big difference in how my body feels and looks by doing them. Uh, it's made a big difference in my mood and my happiness level, right? It's just, it makes a big difference in life to get little workouts in when you can. And to not have it be all or nothing, but to accept that it's okay to have little workouts here and there, right? Hey, I'm going to see you all over my what? My Instagram. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, have you liked more of the community engagement on the community setting here on YouTube? Since they added it, um, I've kind of had fun doing that and posting more photos and little sneak peeks and just little chats and check in with you all wonderful subscribers uh, because, you know, I wouldn't be making these wonderful videos if I didn't have you lovely subscribers suggesting and coming along, giving them thumbs up and letting me know that you're enjoying them. Hey, okay, until the next video, love you all, love your bodies and be happy in your beautiful form because no matter where you're at in your fitness journey, you're wonderful. Your body keeps you alive. It takes care of beautiful children. You are spectacular amazing. I'm going to see you all over on my channels. We'll work out parents. Oh, we're so thin. This is my workout for oh, yeah. You know what I use this workout forms for? Oh, that's right. Writing romance novel. It's for you to read. Feel free to go down in the description box. Click on that link shows you all the muscly writing that I've done. Uh, I have contemporary romances and I have a sci-fi romance out that I just love and adore. They're my other little babies. So go click on over and grab yourself a great book to read while you're on the elliptical or the treadmill. While you're lifting weights, keep yourself entertained. Go for grab a book to read on your, your Kindle, your iPad, whatever you're reading on your phone. Go for it. Go click on the link and you can grab one of my books.